Let me put my phone on. Do not disturb. You know what I'm saying? Give you guys my full attention. Let's get to it. Hanging with B-Drop Podcast, episode 143, 143 episodes in this thing. What's Gucci, y'all? How you feeling? What's the deal? What's the dealio? Hopefully, you guys are feeling sensational. Hopefully, you guys are feeling great. Appreciate you guys tapping in. Appreciate you guys listening to the podcast. Appreciate. I could feel the energy. You know what I'm saying? When you know, you might not know this, but when you put it on your podcast or YouTube, I feel it. It's like a trigger in my brain. I'm like somebody's listening. Nah, that's not true. But you never know. You know, with all this new technology, that might be a thing. Anyways, let's get to it, man. What I want to get into today is embracing your weirdness. You ever embrace your weirdness? You ever think to yourself, I'm weird. I'm different. I'm different. Yeah. And I don't mean weirdness as in it's bad. I mean weirdness as in that you're unique. You ever embrace your uniqueness? I think when you truly embrace your authentic self, you really don't care how people perceive your weirdness. I feel like God made us all different. Why change who we are? Because it makes other people uncomfortable. You know, I like to analyze myself and I go, yeah, that is a little different from how maybe another person would do it or the way I go about things. That is a little different. That is a little weird. But I go, that is who, that's who B is though. That's who I am. And I feel like the people that truly rock with you will embrace you. They'll probably question you, (laughs) but they won't force you to change. And I feel like why even be around people that question your energy rather than add to it? Embracing who you are. And I'm not saying that, you know, we're not going to change or we're not going to evolve or we're not going to grow or we should be stubborn about certain ways that we operate. I'm saying that we are all different and there's certain things about our character that makes us special, makes us different. So be weird. Embrace yourself. You're unique, man. God made you different. If you want to put ketchup on your strawberries, do it. Might be nasty, but hey, man, who cares? That's who you are. <laughs> So I, I was thinking about that a lot this week. You know, I was having conversations with a, with a couple of people. You come to a point where you're just like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little different. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think sometimes I, the conversations I have with people and you could tell that they embrace who they are. It's cool because even though you might feel different around a person, there's something like, oh, but this person is aware of who they are. And you, you like you rock with it. You know, you start going like, oh, that's cool. Like. Okay, so you do this, you do that. You know, I wouldn't do that, but I'm not going to put, you know, what I expect from myself on you. You know what I mean? And I think that's a beautiful way also just to build relationships. And I think sometimes, you know, if we see somebody that acts different or does things different than what how we would do it, we get either uncomfortable or like, why you do it like that? You should do it like this. But I don't think that's our place. I think it's a way of flipping it and being like, oh, you know what? Like, that's cool. You do it like that. Hey, that's not how I would do it. But I I respect how you're not going to change how you do things just because, you know, the majority of people do it a certain way. If we all add our own flavor to the world, it makes everything else much more exciting because we're not talking to the same type of person. Embrace your uniqueness, man. <laughs> you feel me? I, I say all this because I think it's a good thing to really figure out those qualities that you have as a person. There's people that embrace it, you know, and there's some people that don't. But I feel like you can't really like trip about that because it's like everybody's different and it's like, who cares? Just be you. Just embrace your awesome self, man. So I wanted to get in here and just encourage for you to be your authentic self, embrace your weirdness. And there's nothing wrong about what you think your weirdness is. Embrace your weirdness, man. Just love who you are. Love who you're becoming. And I think that we are all growing. We are all changing every day. You know, I didn't think the same than I did, you know, a few years ago or when I was a teenager, whatever. And it's not that just that age causes wisdom. I think it's like the practice of you trying to figure out who you are and putting the practices of being more self-aware. In the end of the day, you are different. You are unique. God made us all different. And why not showcase who you truly, truly are and learn how to, you know, become better in the process you feel me so embrace your weirdness man that's that's my message for the day embrace your weirdness love who you are love who you becoming and i think um you will give the world a much more boost of energy when you truly showcase who you are and i'll do my part to do the best that i can to also do that as well you feel me so Hanging with B-Drop Podcast, man. I love y'all. appreciate the energy. appreciate the vibe. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope that, you know, things are moving in the direction that you hope it's moving to. And if it's not, 
be patient, persevere. We all got this. We all have our own challenges. But in the end of the day, I think, um, you know, if we encourage each other, we build this beautiful community where, you know, we could talk to each other and not at each other, then, you know, we'll make the world a better place. Yeah, that's my message. All right. So hang with Beach Drop Podcast, mental praise, Beach Rob. Love y'all, man. Appreciate the energy. Y'all take it easy. Much love, man. Peace.